Hi there, Christiane Ray Landry here again with another Media Hub tutorial. So our camcorders in the Media Hub are Panasonic HD camcorders with built-in hard drives. But what if you don't have enough space on the hard drive to record what you need? Well, today I'm going to show you how to insert an SD card into the camera, record to that SD card, and then import it into iMovie, Final Cut Pro, or another program. So let's take a look. First, you'll want to grab a camera and an SD card. Next, flip the camera over and locate the SD card slot. It should say access next to it. Open that up and place the SD card with the pins facing upward. It should snap in. Then close the access slot and you're all set. Next, load your camera into a tripod and then turn on the power. Switch the camera function to video. Once you're in video mode, go to the menu in the bottom left corner. Hit menu, and then go to media select. Here we'll select what we're recording to, and we're gonna go with SD card for both video and for picture. Once you're set, hit enter, and we'll begin recording. Once you've recorded what you need, stop the recording and switch the camera to playback mode. You can ensure it was recorded to the SD card by the card icon in the top left. And our video is set. So let's take a look at how we can bring this into a computer. First, let's turn the power off. Next, open the card access slot and press on the card. This will eject it. Now on my iMac, I'm gonna open up iMovie and it's really important you do this first because that way iMovie will recognize the SD card. All right, now we can take our SD card and place it in the SD card slot on the right hand side of the iMac with the pins facing away from us. If your computer doesn't have an SD card slot built in, you can always use one of the SD card readers in the Media Hub iMovie should recognize the card immediately and then bring up the import window with any videos we have on the card. Then you can import your video into an event and work with it however you'd like. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions in the meantime, you can always go to the link below to check out our other tutorials, or you can contact us at dps at providence.edu or at askalibrarian at lists.providence.edu. And until next time, take care and we'll see you then.